Previously on Leeway Land of No Archons, we dropped the palace, a fucking palace onto the sea serpents. And now we are here. The traveller went to find Zhongli and witnessed the most derogatory events ever. After the Harbingers left, the traveller went to interrogate this false Archon. He said that he gave the Gnosis because of contract. Huh? C can we just fast forward to Fountain and have him trapped there? What a sorry excuse that was for an Archon that lived for thousands of years. Come again? He knows about a brother but can't say because of the contract? Can these men be any more useless in giving us information? Men has the knowledge and experience but chose not to share them. Wow. Just wow. Anyways, leaving his sorry ass behind, we decided to continue on our journey to find more Archons and surprisingly, next stop will be Inazuma. The land of tyrant, I mean eternity. Halfway through our 7 year journey, we encountered Saw, so, I mean Young Fei, an adept lawyer in Li Wei, looking to make a name for herself using brute force for marketing. She was called in for a legal setting and asked us for help. This legal indictment involves Cross, a merchant who wrote a contract and made transaction with this woman, Zhu Tiao. The contract seems to be heavily favoured to Cross, but of course, as lawyers, we went to speak with Zhu Tiao, and it turns out that Zhu Tiao lost the damn items. What a case we have on our hands. I wonder if that bratty Hydro Archon would be happy about this. Being the ever-knowing lawyer that she is, she realises something sus as she talks about the missing item. Going back to Cross to question the legitimacy of this item, Cross and Zhichiao go into an argument, which is honestly annoying. <laughs> Whatever the Cross mentioned in this new exchange made it even more sus, and we decided to tell Zhichiao about it. Zhichiao being relieved and adamant to know the truth. Signs a contract with Young Fei since you know it's Li Wei, land of contract. Wait, no? It applies to everywhere? Oh. Yikes. Again, we went off to collect evidence to prove the legitimacy and even had Mr. Khan walk 5 steps before fainting to prove that the Jig Cross used this fake. With the overwhelming evidence against Cross, we went to question him. Knowing the evidence of snatch, sneeze, uh, whatever, learn slow. Cross heavily objected to our accusations only to succumb once we showed all the evidence. Man confesses, and the contract detects that Cross has to pay 10 times the bloody amount. My goodness, that is a heavy penalty. And of course, to have that Naruto, I have no enemies moment, Zuchiao decided to lighten the penalty because, yes, that, that is the end of the court saga, Young Fei and the Jade Mystery. Tune in next time. Boring! I mean, why do I even bother? When are we going to finally see a real twist for once? Please refrain from levity in the court. This trial is far from over.